Space Shuttle Discovery now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. Just more than 30 seconds to go. Discovery's gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. The nose of the shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown in the end of a historic journey. And to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. Shuttle Atlantis now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis' flight. Atlantis now beginning what is known as the Pre-flare maneuver, it will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. And speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis' nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. Touchdown. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. 30 seconds until touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS 131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station system's cooling properly.